Hi, thank you so much for tuning in for your August 2017 Written in the Stars Terrascope. I'm Madeline, if we haven't met before, and if you're back, hi again. This is a really pivotal month for a couple of reasons, uh, both personally and astrologically. So let's start with the personal side. It's our anniversary. It's been one full year that I've been uploading these videos to YouTube, and I just really want to say thank you. Thank you so much that every Every like, every share, comment, subscribe has really truly meant the world and driven me further toward my dream, um, which kind of fits into the astrological theme for this month. But I just want to say thank you and that it truly means the world. Like, I could say so many things, but they're all going to sound cliche, but please trust that this is coming from the, the bottom of my awkward heart. Okay, <laughs> so astrologically speaking, you've probably heard the, the, uh, the news around the astrological water cooler is that we are heading into eclipse season, uh, a time when things really get supercharged. You can think of eclipses, which always occur on new and full moons, as new and full moons on steroids. If a full moon means things are done and it's time to move on, something has either come to completion or crisis and it's time to make a new start, then <laughs> then a full moon eclipse is like, whoa, it's really time to move this out and be done with it. Let it go so you can move forward with more momentum. That's coming full moon in Aquarius on August the 7th, depending on where you are in the world. But the really exciting news is that August 21st, new moon, full solar eclipse in Leo, rep in the Leo new moon. <laughs> um, Leo is the sign of the heart. Leo is the sign of the inherent talent and uniqueness that makes you exactly who you are and completely different from everyone else. So this new moon is inviting you to a beautiful new beginning. It's like an invitation to be fully who you are. What seeds do you want to plant? What star do you want to shine in the universe for you? How do you shine? This is the time for you to decide. So take that full moon time to push things out of your life that aren't working for you anymore so that you have room for the beautiful new beginning coming on the 21st. So you can hear more about that. You can check out my blog, writteninthestars.co, to see where those moons are affecting you most, but also keep an eye here on the YouTube channel for a couple of videos on those moons specifically. Okay, so now let's get to my line. Without further ado, on to my... Hi, hi Sagittarius. How are you? Glad to see you here. How are you feeling about eclipse season? You ready for some big, big changes? <laughs> mm. <sighs> I'm excited for you. Wow, sorry, spirit's already talking. I'm like, all right, all right, tuning in, tuning in. And of course, I meditate and um, <clears throat> say a prayer on all Sagittarians before. I even begin the reading and spirit just starts talking right off the bat and sometimes I get these cards that come flying out and you had a couple of interesting, interesting jumpers so it'll be neat to see if they make another appearance. Some really good stuff. The sun, temperance showed up. Alright, I'm like feeling it. Oh, Sagittarius. Ooh. Sagittarius in August. What does Sagittarius need to know for their highest good spirit? Their highest good, Sagittarius. The month of August 2017, this eclipse season. Woo! Spirit's like boom. Oh, you want a twist? for that earthquake. Sorry, Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius, for the month of August, spirit. What does Sagittarius need to know for their highest good this month? Always for their highest good. And that was one of the jumpers as well. <clears throat> Interesting. It is a month of eclipses. Wow. Wow. That timing was pretty crazy. That timing, though. Okay. Make sure you can see everybody here. Okay. 
and you were like maybe, you know, eight out of nine signs so far that have gotten that fool card, which does not mean that you're not special. It more means that so many of us are having to strike out on, the, on these bold new paths because of the eclipse season, you know, that full moon on the 7th, uh, finishing things up, wrapping things up, bringing things to an end. And for you, it's coming in um, your house of communications, the house of daily business, the house of taking care of, you know, those phone calls, those forms you need to fill out, um, just signing off on things, like... And Spirit is talking about the fact that it's kind of like closing a chapter. So some of you, it could even be like signing legal papers in order to close a chapter in your life in order to move forward. Hmm. Spirit's already talking. What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit, their highest good? Okay. And if you haven't been here before, Sagittarius, you'll see me turn cards right side up because I'm an intuitive reader. So if I get any change or um, any kind of reversal in the meaning, I'll definitely interpret that and get it from Spirit. But I turn them right side up so that you can use your own intuition when you see them. So I get questions about that occasionally, so just want to make that clear. Okay. Wow, so this is interesting, but the first thing Spirit is saying is you don't need to move too fast this month, Sagittarius. Um, that doesn't mean you have to go slow if that's not what feels right, but Spirit is definitely saying it will benefit you to be calm, to be contemplative, to think long term, um, to think about what is going to bring you security versus stagnation. Um, there's definitely some grieving being done by some of you in August, and this is where I should say um, these are general readings, Sagittarius, so some of these messages will resonate more than others. And when a message resonates, you know, please take it and use it for your best. And when it doesn't, please recognize that that's for another Sagittarius and not for you. Spirit's always going to come through with what is most needed at the time. Um, and some of you are grieving. Some of you are feeling very stuck. Some of you are feeling a little bit like big fish in a small pond. Um, and it's true because you have this victory card here of like you have everything. You have every everything that is getting, like you're getting public acclaim, people recognize your gifts, and yet you're disappointed. And yet, you know, here's the man with his head in his hands looking down at his three empty cups never taking note of the two cups behind him that are full and that are nourishing these grapes. Um, so for some of you, it's like, okay, you know, of course take the time that you need, but then turn around and begin nourishing what it is that is going to help you feel alive, what is going to help you grow as a human being, as a soul, as a person. Um, It's like Spirit is saying that there's a difference between hoarding what you've learned and what you've gained and using what you've gained and what you've learned. Okay, I'm just going to be very straightforward that for some of you I feel like <laughs> there's money coming in. Um, and it could be money that's coming in via unconventional ways and maybe even like there's some grief around this, like a death or a divorce. Um, but I want to tell you that Spirit is saying there's hope on the other side of this, whatever it is for you in your individual case. The star is what appears and when she appears next to death it's a beautiful sign that 
A, you know, you're being watched over. Um, and Spirit says you know who that is. Like, some of you, you know exactly who they're talking about when they say that you're still being, you're being watched over. Um, you're being guided. The more that you trust that, the more that it's going to come through. That sounds very simplified, but it's just the truth. When you don't put a stranglehold on how uh, things should be, or how things should be communicated to you or come through or whatever, you allow them to come through in the way that they're meant to, in the way that is best for you. Like, imagine that your imagination is kind of like a keyhole, whereas, you know, spirit can throw open the door and see everything. Um, trust that when you feel like there's a little bit of darkness at times this month, that the stars come out at night. I know that's cliched, but the other truth about, about the star is that it's like, Sagittarius, you're a fiery soul, and you know that your fire is here for a reason. You know that you are who you are, and you have what you have to give for a reason. Like, And when I say that, I mean like your essence, your creativity, your unique gift. Um, Spirit is saying relax and trust the vision. You have the High Priestess here saying your intuition is on point. You can trust your gut. You can trust your dreams. They're saying some of you are talented dreamers, like you dream often or you dream very like deeply, like these long involved stories and things. Write them down, take notice, relax and receive. Like they were saying, there's no need to move fast. There's no need to, you're doing some processing this month, some processing and then spirit said reorienting. So do that for yourself. Um, <clears throat> when you are, dealing with any kind of grief or separation or betrayal, you really do kind of have to recalibrate and find out who you are now in this new phase. And the fool says, clean the slate. The fool says you're ready to go on an adventure. And I really love that after, you know, you've got somewhat, you've got joyful and you've got heavy cards. Um, it's like you're running the gauntlet, you know what I mean? Like you're coming up against some things, but you're growing from it, you're evolving from it. Um, and eclipses are about letting go. Letting go and then that solar eclipse, that new moon is like a supercharged new beginning. And you've got the star, you've got the fool, the wheel of fortune. You're being led. You're closing a chapter here with death and walking out of the cave, you know? Walking out of the darkness, Sagittarius, going off on an adventure. It's you, the perennial wanderer, the eternal student of life, um, ready and open. Spirit says there's somebody around you who is, um, I'm feeling a very feminine energy. This person doesn't necessarily have to be, um, have to identify as a woman, uh, but they very well may. The Queen of Cups is a person in your life who is very intuitive, very compassionate. Um, you think of them as very emotionally mature and able to give you good sound advice. Um, penetrating is the word Spirit just used. So this person might be a Scorpio or a water sign. Um, or have that energy, which of course cups, right? Um, but penetrating is important. They're saying that is like a personality trait of this person. It's like when they look at you, they can see through you, or when you're saying something, they can get straight to the essence of it. Um, this person, they, a spirit just said fascinating. You find this person fascinating. This person has some good advice for you. This person can help uh, push the wheel. This person can help, um, it's kind of like the wise person you meet along your path as the fool. Like I'm walking down this road and then I meet this wise woman by the by the road and she just gives me some awesome advice and I go on kind of like a video game, you know, like, oh, thank you. That was good to know. Walk along. Like now I'm done here and now I get to move on to the next stage because that's what the Wheel of Fortune is about. Something has come a complete revolution top to bottom. Now you're done. Time to move on. There's a truth that needs to be told this month and kind of a line that needs to be drawn, a boundary that needs to be made um, for many of you Sagittarians. And of course, these are general readings, Sagittarius, but 
many of you, it's like, say the awkward truth that you've been holding back. Um, there really isn't going to kind of come a better time or a smoother delivery. You know, maybe you're a little bit famous, Sagittarius, for putting your foot in your mouth. Like, um, so if the time comes when you feel like you need to draw a line or put a boundary with someone, you kind of need to just do it in the moment when you're feeling it. Um, when you can trust yourself, because remember, High Priestess says, when you feel it, trust it. When you feel it, trust it. You're being guided. Um, Spirit is saying, some of you are being set free. And they just said some of you are even maybe like leaving the country, leaving the state, like making a big transition, making a big move, a bold move, really changing your life around. And for some of you, it is coming on the heels of that grief. Like again, like they said, you know, maybe it's a, a, a breakup or a separation or a divorce um, or even a death. Um, and you feel like I just need to get away from this geographical area. I need to be elsewhere. Like I need to restart. Um, so relax, reset, though that's like your mantra for this month, relax and reset, okay? When you get that chance for a new beginning, seize it. It's going to be very good for you. This is totally not a plug, this is totally like a self-help thing, like check out your horoscope, whether it's on my blog or other ones, but definitely check out your horoscope to see more about where that new moon is like supercharging your chart and giving you an opportunity at a new beginning, okay? Um, okay, now well, let's look at some action steps for you. Let's do that fiercely focused spread and see what you can do to really capitalize on the potential and avoid the pitfalls as much as possible in August. Okay. Sagittarius. And if you haven't been here before, Sagittarius, this is just a quick five card spread where I pick a theme for your month, what you are best most to understand, embody, or expect in the month. And then followed by a card for each of the four elements dealing with different areas of your life. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So here's the theme for your month. Strength. And strength is about inner strength, as you can probably gather. As you see this lovely, gentle woman grappling, and not even, <laughs> petting, and just kind of chilling with this lion this ostensibly ferocious, you know, fanged lion. Um, they're out in wild terrain. She's not in a petting zoo. This is not a baby cub. This is a lion. Uh, this is about having compassion and confidence in yourself. Because when you treat the beast in you, whether it's your depression, your grief, your rage, your lust, whatever, when you treat your weaknesses, quote unquote, or your challenges, your animal aspects with love, with forgiveness, with compassion, they bow to you. Their power becomes accessible to you rather than something that you're repressing and trying to keep away from you. Your shadow becomes your strength. So acknowledge what you need. Acknowledge what the animal side of you is asking for this month, Sagittarius. Like, and that can be a lot of things. Like. And simple sensual things like food and of course like sex and company and like music, dancing, using your body. <sighs> Think about what gives you strength. Spirit just said for some of you it's going to be like going back to church or going, you know, to some kind of spiritual service where you get empowered by the words that people are saying. Do what really gets the energy flowing and going in you. And give yourself that love, that unconditional, like, parental love that all of us really need. All parts of you are loved unconditionally by spirit, and those parts of you that you would think are unforgivable are completely forgiven. Like, no question. So do yourself that favor and you'll find that you proceed in life much stronger. Um, it's almost as if we, we live in a society where we think that maybe if we punish ourselves, for the aspects of ourselves we don't like, maybe somehow we'll change when really it's kind of accepting it releases some attachment to it, you know? 
I'm not going to fetishize this, this greed or this rage or this depression. I'm going to accept that it's there. And that kind of loosens the hold to begin with. Okay. A lot of strength for you in August. I love that. Okay, now let's look at the earth aspect. Your money, your jobs, resources, opportunities, even your health. Depending on what spirit most wants to talk about. Steps that Sagittarius can take to make the most of the Ooh, month. Okay. Wow. Same card, different deck. This is the same card as the guy that was sitting in the little, pretty much in his little fortress made of like a teeny tiny sandbox fortress. Don't be afraid. Don't be a big fish in a small pond, Sagittarius. That's not your way. You're ready to break free. Um, don't hold on to what you have so tightly that you don't allow for other things to come in because maybe you're scared to let one thing go um, in fear that you might not receive something in return. Um, open up. That's what Spirit just said. It's like, open up your arms, give your time or donate, you know, objects or money to people that you know need it even more than you do. Do things that you can to kind of loosen up that flow in the universe and there's much more to be enjoyed in your life. That's what Spirit just said. So for some of you, again, because general reading Sagittarius, so not all of you, but some of you are clinging so tightly to one way of being that you might be missing out on some things that you could enjoy if you just, you know, quote unquote, let go a little, let go a little, enjoy. Okay, so now let's look at what's on your mind. If we're saying don't hold too tightly to things, people, money, what are you thinking about in August? It seems like you're doing a lot of releasing and letting go. What does Sagittarius need to know for August 2017? Sagittarius, August 2017. nice finding peace maybe even doing a little bit of retreat like i said some of you might be like leaving the country or state and leaving possibly even for sad reasons they even said that before of like you know it might be like i'm leaving because i can't stand to be around this area um it's a good move it's taking you away from turbulence and toward clarity some of you have learned some heavy lessons um and i mean that for the better You've learned some things that were necessary for you to know for your own good to move forward with more clarity, uh, more of a sense of what you want, who you are, where you're going, and therefore, you know, to lead a happier life. Again, it's a lot about letting go and awakening, like awakening to aspects of yourself or like things like, oh, maybe if, if next time, if I get the chance again, I'm going to do it like this instead. Getting that little bit of wisdom and sometimes that can come with a little bit of sadness, but it can sweeten the rest of your life. Okay. So now, speaking of sweetness, what's going on in your relationships, your emotions? What's going on in your heart this month, Sagittarius? In August, what do you need to know for your highest good? What can Sagittarius do in the emotional realm this month for their highest good? Wow. Same card, different deck. So Spirit is really validating that some of you are grieving. Um, and it's difficult because what's done is done. I mean, when you look at the card, the cups, the cups have spilled. It's like, it is, you know, what it is. It doesn't mean it's easy or like, oh, get over it. It just means like it's done. And that is hard. As humans, it's hard to recognize that some things can end when we kind of go through life things are going just fine and smoothly and then all of a sudden like break up or you know there's a death in the family or some kind of loss of a job or a business and it can take us a little bit of time to reorient and that is why spirit is validating take your time get your clarity get your space mental and geographical take care of yourself relax and reset They're also showing me, they want me to point out to you, 
But yes, he has these, you know, spilled over cups in front of him. But there's water flowing right, right in his eye line. It's like if he could just shift his perspective up a tiny bit, there's plenty to be filling these cups with. So don't be thinking they're going to stay empty forever, Sagittarius. There's more love coming into your life. And some of you, spirit had to come in and kick over certain cups of like, okay, if you're not going to leave this unhealthy situation, we're going to end this or they are going to end this and you're going to have to deal with it because it's the best thing for you. Ooh, that's crazy. Okay, spirit comes in hard sometimes. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot. <laughs> okay, so now let's look at what's active. Wow, baiting you. Alrighty. A little bit of competition this month. A little bit of conflicting ideas. Um, a little bit of put your ideas to the test. So... Spirit's saying some of you are quite creative and that, you know, you write or you draw or you code and it's going to be beneficial for you to do some of that, like to kind of get out of your, out of your head to do a little bit of, of what is fun though, what is like fun and games, like it shouldn't be, oh my god, this is a burden, oh yeah, let me code for fun, like no, not if it's not fun, but if it's like your passion project and something that you really want this would be a good time to work on it. Um, it's also to remind yourself, like, Spirit just said how vital you are. So if it's getting into another room and debating with people because it's sharing your voice and just, you know, enjoying the, 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 the clash of wills, because it's not about, you know, you're not going to go out and club anybody or anything, but you are going to test your ideas, your creative projects up against other people's, and that's how you get better. When you test your ideas, you test, you know, your words in front of an audience, you tend to improve them and notice what's working and what's not working. So you're doing some of that this month. You're really freeing yourself of some things, or at least you very much have the opportunity, Sagittarius, because of course that's up to you. And if you ever want any help, if you ever want me to go deeper into your personal energy and consult with kind of your spiritual board of directors, my shop is linked below. I'd love to hear what you think about this. If you have questions, um, if you have a comment or something is resonating with you, you can comment below or find me on social media. My email is also linked below. I would just love to hear what you think and um, how this is and isn't working for you. What's going on in August? You tell me, Sagittarius. I'm trying to tell you too. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I hope it's really helpful and that that it really helps you make the most of August. This is like such a pivotal time as we're shifting into that, like I can't believe we're here, right? We're shifting into fall again. Um, I'm in Texas, so we don't really shift into fall, but we can pretend. <laughs> okay, I'm rambling now. Thank you, Sagittarius. I really appreciate you, and I hope I see you next month. Bye-bye.